There we go. Hey, YouTube Gunnamir, welcome back once again. I have made a lot of progress. Um, I decided I'm just going to finish up the outside because then it'll really make doing the inside easier. I won't have to redo everything. So, the progress I've made uh, is, yes. <laughs> Do you remember how this used to look? I did extend this, add another hydrogen there, some more on the front, or the back, help with that, and the same with the bottom one. I decided to add a series of hydrogen there, add a handful here along with this entire outer unit. Uh, there's a large cargo container in there, hiding behind that, and it's not fuel, it's cargo. Uh, kept that gun, um, am I missing something that sticks over there? I don't think so. But yes, I did add this large overlap. There's still a gap there that I've softened it a little bit. I think I need to soften this corner a little, but eh. A series of hydrogen and ion engines here. The, pa the plan shows a gap there anyway, so that's okay. Uh, this one does have slightly obscured firing angles, but it's not bad. Then I have a large amount of uh, hydrogen engine sitting in there. These have slightly obscured firing angles, but it's not much, and you have all that to deal with. They're meant for the side and rear anyways, which means I should probably turn them around, but I'm not going to bother. Side, yes. This large paneling that sticks out, acting as partial spaced armor and all. Some ion, mostly hydrogen, obviously. And I did add this bottom structure here, which <laughs> I've added a door, but I haven't added any interiors yet. And I've added a couple connectors. I'm thinking I'm going to want some more ion engines down here, but that's an easy fix. Uh, some connectors, so if you have a ship that needs stuff, you can hook up. Uh, the actual print shows a gap here, so I kept that in. I've put a couple of engines there, even though they're supposed to be more up front. Meh. I'll keep it there. This series of engines in the back here. A gap. Some engines up there. And then there's this. The main assembly. <laughs> Just look at this. You got those two there. You got those two there. And the same on the other side, and there's just that. <laughs> Along with, of course, a pelican bay with two pelicans. And it's even got a command zone and a waiting zone, which ha doesn't have seats, and an entryway. Well, there's two or three entryways, actually. Two different levels. And, yeah. It's doored up. The These are hooked up to the button panel that's up here. So, very simple, very easy. Uh, yeah. Some defensive guns here. A good amount of Bofors and Gatlings. I mean, it's not a ton of guns in the back, but since, you know, some ships have literally nothing in the back. I mean, seriously, I think the rearmost gun is this Bofor and this Gat... Or no, it is that Gatling. It's a single block further back. Yeah. So there's zero firepower in the rear. This, though they're somewhat obstructed, at least it has firepower to the rear. In total, uh, well, those Gatling guns cannot technically shoot to the rear, and that's not small, so but those Bofors can. Of course, you have four Gatlings right here, and then four, two Gatlings there, same on the other side. These Bofors, those Bofors, if you try something, fall by. Bofors and Gatlings. So it's good amount of protection. It's not phenomenal. There aren't any big guns. And, you know, you're going to be getting shot with four to six Gatlings and two Bofors if you are... Well, here you got four Gatlings and two Bofors shooting at you. So, you know, move over. You got more Bofors. If you're up a little, you got another... Or, or Gatling, excuse me. Another Bofor. So Bofors and Gatlings, Bofors and Gatlings, Bofors and Gatlings. This is my Pillar of Autumn. <sighs> this is my Pillar of Autumn. 
I like it. Now comes all the interior work, which I'm terrible at. Once I'm done painting up everything, then I'm going to have to, uh, well, actually, well, I still have to do the hangers, uh, and the internals. There's massive gap down here. I haven't put in the main reactors yet, but I also need to do some other stuff with the, uh, walkway to get down to that airlock. This is supposed to be the bottom level, so, uh, yeah. I'm probably going to turn this whole zone into main engineering, but that'll be a catch with the airlock there, so... But the other option is that up there. I could have it go through there. Then again, I could just have, uh... You know, the, um, main engineering in the front and that loop around or something. I got options. I got options. So I will explore those options later. For now, it works. And I have room to cut out as well if I have to without interfering with things and just simply moving around some uh, conveyors and call it a day. That's easy. So, all of main engineering hangers and some other stuff, but now basically it's all interior work and then there's decoration. There's a uh, adding the fancy stuff all over the place to break it up, you know, to make it look like a proper spaceship. But, it's on the outside, done. That's the thing. It's done on the outside, except for the uh, beautification, which usually takes a while. Detailing. That's the word, detailing. So, the craft will come with two pelicans and four of the V206 mini fighters. Once I actually hook them up. I don't want to hook them up because it'll put one grid to another, so... Eh. So, yeah. <sighs> Progress. Now that, that is good, I am happy. All right, I'm going to upload my work in progress as it is, and I will um, go from there. I will catch you later.